uptown. I went there. I was um I was there. <clears throat> so it happened Joe Claire, which is my frat brother, K side. He was there that weekend. I hit him up. I was like, yo, I wanna come through. He was like, bet. He was like, come through Thursday. And I was like, all right. So I found out Wednesday that they had like a little open mic type thing where this dude named Nard was hosting. So Nard's thing is on his night, he brings up all new comics. If you want to get on stage, whatever. But what they do is they shake keys. They shake keys. If you ain't funny, they shake keys. Now, I was like, all right, bet. I told dude I wanted to go up. Mm -hmm. He put me like last. Like of all the new comics, everybody was getting the keys shook. Everybody was getting the keys shook. And it was one comedian that was from Atlanta. I ain't gonna say his name, but he did. He stole somebody's joke. He stole a joke, and he got he he got claps. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, all right. He put me up after him. This nigga ain't nobody know me. Nobody know. He was like, give it up for Dante. I'm talking about. I went out there. I'm, I'm high energy. What's up? What's happening? What's up? I'm like, eh, nobody knows who the fuck I am. Yeah. I heard, and I, in my mind, I had already seen so many people get booed, so many people get the keys shaked on. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have me a response in my head already ready in case somebody shake the keys on me. Yeah. So I'm up there doing my little act. I'm up there doing my shit. Somebody shake the keys. I said, you know what? Here's my time. I could bring my little response out. Yeah. They was like, uh, I was like, they shake the keys. I was like, damn, what you a janitor? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, Nobody says shit. Oh man. So even more keys. Here's <laughs> <laughs> some janitors. <laughs> party in a normal party is more women than there is guys mm -hmm. so now guys can kind of sit back and be able to pick and choose who they want to talk to mm -hmm. so I'm just thinking like in the, when you open that spectrum up into the world is way more women out there than it is guys so guys can kind of sit back take their time they ain't got to rush to get married they ain't got to rush to be in a relationship so, so let me let me let me ask you this then so you saying Men should just tell women, listen, hey, listen, we not going to get married. And what we going to do is we going to have the option to sleep as many of y'all we like. We supposed to have a meeting or something. How are we going to pull this shit off? I ain't saying, saying that. I'm not saying telling them. But just, you just... Ask yeah. them what we do. We going to send them a letter? No. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to get that understanding. Like, look, man, I'm not, I don't want to be in a relationship right now. You know what I mean? Just tell them. I don't want to be in a relationship right now. I'm just out here sowing my royal oats like Eddie Murphy. Man, you know how many women that won't fall for that shit? You know how many you know, you, know many, you know how many women will fall for that? Especially 30 and up? I don't know too many that could, that'll fall for it. I don't know too many women where you can go up to them and be like, hey, listen, hey, listen. Now you, no, you can't, you can't leave with that. You can't leave with it. You know what I mean? Well, how, the, how the hell you even do it? You know what I'm saying? What you talking about? You talking about Bible? Say, hey, you gonna tell you got the same for God is good. Okay, well let me tell you that. Um, I'm not gonna just be with you specifically. It's a bunch of women I'm gonna sleep with. No, see, you just here's the thing. When you meet a, when you meet a woman, you gotta you gotta understand. Okay, who are they? What they're about? What they doing? You know what I mean? Get to know them. And then they're going to leave with, okay, so what are we doing? Yeah. And be like, oh, I thought we were just kicking and having fun. You know what I mean? I thought that's what this was. We were getting to know each other. And then you bring it to them like, look, I like you. I just don't want to be in a relationship because I don't want to tie, <clears throat> I don't want to tie you down. And I'm not just in a place to even be in a relationship right now. Right. You know I mean? but, but that's not just all women, folks, because you know a lot of men, especially, uh, Men that have daughters, they tell their daughters, okay, a man like that is, he's not serious. You know, he's immature. If he, if you, if you saying that you don't want to, you know, be in committed relationship and you just sleeping with a woman, you're looked at as a man as being immature, not responsible, you full of games. You see what I'm saying? Right. Like, cause right. you know, we, we, we judge by that. Like men are judged by, okay, why you ain't in a relationship at a certain amount of time? Why you ain't married? But if you've been in a relationship for a certain time, why you ain't never popped the question? Here's my thing. That's a southern thing. 
No, that's a universal no, thing. That's a sudden That's thing. a universal. I can guarantee you, if you go across the right woman somewhere and they'll be like, okay, you ain't gonna be laying on me, jumping on me all weekend. You don't know <laughs> if we a, a couple or not. Jumping on me? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Here's my thing, though. When you go into the like big cities, is is usually the women that be like, you know, I don't want to get tied down. I'm focused on career. I'm focused on this. I'm focused on that. It's usually when you go to the south, it's them like, you know, hey, I need to have some kids. I want to get married. I want to have a family. Oh yeah, they understand. The you know what I mean? It's more. Uh, it's a little more brainwashed. Right. And uh, that's what I'm saying. So you. when you go outside of that, is more women that's more career oriented they trying to get their career in the right space they want to you know they want to travel they want to be able to do this and do that i disagree i think women are all the same universe i think you have some that thinks different you know you have some very small few but traditionally every woman wants love and happiness they, they, they want do. a long-term relationship but i don't care that woman background that woman past <laughs> that woman could be listen that woman could have owned some problems not just been <laughs> And a part of one, like she could have owned some brothels. Like she could have had forty-five kids, okay, and she could have just been sleeping with them dudes like this morning. And she will tell a guy, that, "Hey, you know what? If you gonna be with me, you need to get your shit together because I'm not out here just sleeping around just because." And when she had a certain age, now, now if you get them in like in the early twenties or whatever, you know, and it, it's it's different, you know, because depending on where she at, like if she. They graduated from law school or something like that, you know, uh, coming yeah. from the South, they didn't program the other say, oh, you need to be married by such and such age, because, you know, women have quotas for relationship. <laughs> they got they got quotas. We ain't got quotas. I ain't never met a man to say, man, say, man, I can't wait to get 23, because I'm going to get married. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Like, uh, <laughs> think about that. Women think about that shit. Like, they, they have themselves, which is selfish. In my opinion, because you already have some shit planned out before you even met the dude. Right, right. And now you're trying to fit this dude into your program. Right. And what you what you want your life to be, you right. trying to squeeze this man into that. Right, because they got this biological clock. Because keep in mind, let me tell you something. Women, at the for, for the most part, they have babies. Like, they, they normally set the time of when they want to have kids. They say, oh, I want to have kids by, you know, my goal is to have a kid by 25 and then I'd be done by, you know, by 30, that's the max. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you know, I want, of course, I don't want to be mad by the time I have any kid. And then after that, I'm going to have a house <laughs> within that time, right? Then normally I'm going to move in the gated community. They have all this shit figured out. Now, I don't know who the fuck they plan this shit with. <laughs> with well, they damn selves. Yeah, they plan this shit with them damn selves. But <laughs> they figure the moment they meet a guy, he get into her plan. She got set up. Like, what type of shit? But when we tell them our plan... We told the gentleman, like, listen, and my plan was, I plan on sleeping with at least 40 women between <laughs> ages 27 and 28. Now, now, my birthday is in January. I want to sleep with at least 48 women by February. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you tell them that shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you, you immature. You, you on that bullshit. But, yes, know? I am on that bullshit. And there's other women out there. It's other, that... That's just one. You got six other women to run that same line on. Oh. As, as a possibility. One of them like, you know what? I'm on that bullshit too. Oh, yeah. Let's yeah, go, you got let's some, some you got some. Let's go kick it. But I'm going to tell you another thing that's different too in society. Because see, there's pressures as men. It's like there's pressures as women. Men, our pressure is the money that we got to have. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of pressure on us as men to have money. You know, mm -hmm. women, their pressure on them is their bodies. If, mm -hmm. they're, if they're not fine in today's time, mm -hmm. then you basically, society makes it feel like you ain't shit. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You got to look good. You look on Instagram and all this shit, they're successful because right. of how they look. Like, it's a lot of pressure on women being fine. And it brings me to my next point. As a, as a young woman, right, mm -hmm. she has a time to when her body is going to diminish, right? And as a young man, he ain't in his career where he needs to be. You know what I mean? So it's like this. It's like a like a Benjamin Buttons thing to where when a dude gets to his money portion where he's like, I got my career set, I'm, you know what I mean? And then it, it, it trickles down. It's funny 
to me because when I think about it, the men, the women are up here, right? Yeah. The guys are down here as far as money. Women up here on their looks when they're young. Mm -hmm. They got to meet somewhere between 35, between 35 and 40 where they, everything is just right on the same plane. You know what I mean? Yeah. 35 where, you're, where, where a guy should be like, you know what? I know where I am in my career. I'm right there. And a woman is like, you know what? I know my body. I know where I look good in. You know what I mean? And they meet at a certain point where everything is lining up. And then after that, it's like the guy is rising in his career. The women is diminishing in theirs. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like their bodies start going down. And that's why older men... Like them younger, like the young women. Yeah, it's it's like older men like a lot. Like they love younger women because of that. Like they want, like they want that beautiful woman. They want that 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 lifestyle. Like women don't understand, sex is a lifestyle. <laughs> we got to have that lifestyle. Like for them, they feel like they're doing us a duty. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like yeah, yeah, because you feel like you know you need that. No, no, no. I can't survive without pussy. I don't know, like you know what I'm saying? Like the average man needs to fuck at least three, four times out of the week. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like women, they don't have they don't care about that shit. They they can be like, you know, I'm yeah. doing me, I can go and drop for two or three years. Live, at a certain point, oh I think over thirty, women ain't the what I've run into, over thirty, women ain't on that I need to be like I, I need to have it too. That's my that's my personal experience. Over thirty, yeah. women be like, "Look, nigga, I don't give like I need I needs to get mine off." You know what I mean? I need to be satisfied. I need to fuck. You know what I mean? Over thirty, when you when you younger, they try like I'm saving myself. I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying not to be get too many notches on my belt. You know what I mean? Most of young women I find like that. When they get over forty, they ask you, niggas, we fucking or we not? I, you know what? I would say it depends on certain women because, like, it depends on that woman and her situation. <laughs> I think, here's the thing. I, I don't know how old the oldest woman in the last my ass because <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't tell me her real age. That's how you know she was old. She wouldn't tell you much. She wouldn't tell me her real age. You had a home? No. <laughs> <laughs> Keep quiet. <laughs> Keep quiet. <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't tell me. She would not tell me what my age. It was this one when I was twenty-five. I was in a relationship with a woman that was forty. She was fifteen years older than me, so she was. I was twenty-five, so she was forty. So, so you was in a relationship? Relationship. Oh my god! I don't know, like boyfriend, girlfriend. Hey, but you know what? Those are good women, man. I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, the twos are tied. Uh, boy, let me tell you something. You talking about something outstanding about a woman with her two tied? <laughs> I take a, uh, I take a, 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 a premium package woman um, with her two tied versus a woman that is top notch. <laughs> well, not a two tied because that she's fucking at risk of having them people in my life. You know, and you know them goddamn people with the paperwork, and child support, and motherfucking monthly payments, and harassment. <laughs> I, mean, I want to deal with that shit. <laughs> when them people in your life, the shit goes terrible. Uh, yeah, it was. It was. It was fun. But the the only thing I didn't like about they know the woman is she put them goddamn responsibilities on your ass. You had to pick up kids. You had to, you know. Worry about uh, sorting out the taxes. You had to do. Oh yeah, she go. Yeah, you had to. I was twenty five. Like I was trying to live my life. <laughs> no, we probably put up these floorboards. And we yeah, finna, yeah. We finna redecorate this house. Oh, yeah, like, you know, laying out tiles yeah. and all this. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I to, I'm twenty five. You know, I rebuilt the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I she probably directed your ass. Yeah. What you call it? Okay, I'll pay you twenty two and say put it over there. Yeah, I'm like. I'm doing construction work on this motherfucker house, but you know what I mean. It, it was a run. I was I I had to pay some kind of way. Yeah, I mean, I that's, 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 that's a good woman. <laughs> and now I think that's a good woman. Now let me tell you something. Them younger women, they, they don't want to know shit. They don't know how to cook and nothing like that.